Well, hello. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people in the chat already. Am I late? <laughs> Vincent Fowl, Catfish Headhunters, Mud Tramp, Georgia Fisherman, Has Life. Hello. Art, hello. Oh, I have it. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. Timolina, hello. Mike Kaufman. Mike Cole. I hope you brought snacks. <laughs> John Boy's Catfishing, hello. Mad Catter, thank you for being here. Open the box, Timolina says, open the box. Yeah, so, um, I got this big box and uh, it, an avid sent this to me, uh, which you can probably figure out. I really don't have a good setup for this. I don't have the big table to sit in front of me to do this. So um, I'm hoping I can make this work, but this is the big box and Avid uh, did write on it. Um, and uh, this is a 12 pound box. So NKR, hello. Oh, thank you, Becca. Really? I think it's a hot mess right now. Um, it's just been one of those days. So I'm going to try to just get through this big box. Uh, and really what happened was, what happened was, <laughs> I asked Avid um, how I would go about purchasing some of his handmade rattles, the catfish rattles. And uh, I ended up with this 12 pound box. That's pretty much the long and short of that story. Georgia, thank you very much. CBC, thank you very much for coming in. Anybody else I missed, thank you so much uh, for being here for this. Um, I know this is going to take a while, so I'm really, I, I do want to just jump in. I have 24 fabulous people in the house. Um, for those that, that may miss the beginning, I know you can go back, you can watch it. So, uh, Katie, thank you very much for being here. Oh, no, she doesn't see chat. Aaron, thank you very much. For being here and i'm so sorry aaron in my last or the live before that you were trying to get some information out to me and for some reason you just kept scrolling by and i missed it um but i did catch you on the replay um i did get the information also from uncle josh so i do appreciate that i have not reached out yet in and in regard to that but i do have the information and i apologize that i missed you trying to share it out to me um I, I don't know how my view is. I know you can't see the box, so I'm going to have to kind of hold stuff up. I assume you can hear me. Um, the whole check, check, check every time we start here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this box. And uh, as I get through this, um, I wanted to do this kind of just with me on the screen right now. Abbott's going to join me. Um, once I kind of get through it, so um, he can talk about what he has sent me and maybe uh, answer some of the questions that I might have, because I'm sure I will have uh, as I go through this. So, And I do know that the rattles that I asked for are not in this box, because he does have to hand make them, um, and they are going to take a little bit of time to do. So that's going to come at a later time. Um, so without further ado, dun 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 dun. Like Christmas. Uh, 
Um, I also, I don't know if um, who was in the uh, Catfish Weekly the day I, I won a sticker. I <laughs> so very excited about that. James, thank you very much for being here. Maurice as well. Um, I see, I did not see Ace's name. I see people saying hello. Thank you, Ace, for being here very much. I appreciate it. Um, and again, anybody that I might have missed. Um, but I do have also from Lyle emailed me. And um, I have that sticker coming, so I can add that to um, the Muddy River catfishing uh, sticker that I also got. Yeah, so this is this is amazing. I, um, as I said, I, I asked for rattles, and then the next thing I knew, I, I was becoming the recipient of this box that I am now opening. So. Um, I don't even, I just don't even know. Avid really took the time to put this together, um, obviously. So, um, oh my God. The, so the first thing I picked up, um, I don't have it with me because I've been using it in, in, it's in my vehicle, but I have a, the child soon when I first did my first uh, fishing video and I had the um, kids fish stick, fish sticks rod i've actually been fishing with it <laughs> and it is in my car um but i no longer have to do that because in this package i just got the eagle claw packet preloaded with line oh wow that extent oh so this is an extension rod um five foot six spinning rod fiberglass construction um a one ball bearing spinning reel multi-disc drag graphite spool so i will see if you can see that so that's the first thing i just pulled that out of the box everybody we love fins and fowls thank you very much for coming in um oh my gosh i absolutely can't believe i've gotten these these are the, um, I believe the Patriot James um, ghost floats. Yes. I don't know. Keep the kids rug too. Yeah, absolutely. I will has. I will. Um, it actually casts really well. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little small, but I have a nice pond out back and I did pick up some worms and I think, uh, I think I'll be popping those out there. So I'm gonna actually open these if you guys don't mind me just taking the time to do that. And I only know about these from seeing all of you guys with these. So, oh my gosh, thank you very much um, for including those. And I believe that they do light up. Um, I'm not sure how, I don't wanna break anything. Do they light up, Abbott? I don't know. I think they do. Oh yeah, there's a light in there. You guys all know how to do this, I guess. I don't. I don't know how to do it. I don't want to break it either. Trying to figure it out right now. I don't know if I have to turn something on. Yes, they do. Well, that's good. Somehow, do I have to do something? Spectacular here to get that to work. That one is not lighting for me. And then I also have it in uh, blue. Oh. And we also have spare or some. Oh, maybe that's part of part of that. You don't want to lose those. Okay, so I was going to explain that later. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I do actually have a set of these and can never um, have enough, I guess. I'm hoping eventually I'm going to have a fish to hook up with this. Um, but that's awesome. Thank you very much for that as well. Oh, my goodness. It just goes down. <laughs> this is great. The Gorilla Grip. Um, for some that caught my live the other day, I was working with the eel and a very slimy, um, 
a very slimy shad. So <laughs> I actually did wear the gloves and I probably will continue to wear gloves as I keep touching that nasty stuff. It was slippery and slimy. Um, so that's just disgusting. Uh, pliers, absolutely. <laughs> Abby, do you never send me grippers? <laughs> Oh, and another set. The Patriot Kings fibers. He's going to explain those to me later, so I'll set those aside. Oh my goodness, no wonder the box is heavy. Oh, I guess I won't have to worry about my rod going anywhere. Or I could put a little margarita glass in there, maybe. Hold my margarita while I'm fishing. That works. Thirty pound tests. Excellent, excellent. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, so what Avid explained to me what he was doing was setting me up not only for the catfishing but also for bait fishing. So. I, um, the margarita glasses, I think will fit right in there. The stem right in there. That'll be an awesome fishing day. <laughs> um, so what he, yes, I did fins. I got a whole bunch. Oh, all right. Well, make sure that you do a little review there while you go there, Becca and hurry back. <laughs> I will wait for you if you want. I can just chat for a minute. So hurry up. Let me know when you're back. <laughs> Mike Irvin, hello. Fish hunt trap repeat. It is like Christmas. Um, it, I, I'm just overwhelmed and so appreciative. And I really can't say thank you enough for, um, for everything that has been happening to me. And it just, it just keeps continuing. So um, yeah, I'm very, very appreciative and I, I just can't even express how much. So, um, but as I was saying, Ava was setting me up for, oh, I did say that bait fishing. Um, and so I do have some, um, uh, hook assortments. We won't tell Becca I'm showing this. We'll wait for her to get back. Uh. Um, yeah, this is, this is cool. I've never, um, actually, I've only heard of the extension runs. I've never actually seen one. So this is really cool. Uh, and this is great. Uh, this is really great. Oh yeah. I gotta put it together. Yeah. So it extends right on out. And then some. That's really cool. And I will obviously, um, you know, when Avid comes up, he'll talk about some of this stuff as well and then help me. That was fast, Becca. Um, I don't know what's in here. Better not be an eel. That's just nasty. <laughs> Oh, awesome. He sent me a scale. So this will weigh in my first, um, my first PB. Put that aside. Oh my goodness, all the stuff in here. All right, I think we're finally getting down to the smaller things. Oh boy, I love these. You can never have enough of these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one of the box is heavy. So uh, the weights I have, um, they are the the five pound, uh, five, five ounce pyramid uh, weights. They are great. Scales has awesome. Yep, 
he'll have to walk me through some of that too. Uh, that's all right. But yeah, and the, interestingly enough, um, some of this stuff is really hard to find here. They do a lot of ocean fishing. So fishing, did I say fishing? They do a lot of ocean fishing. And, um, you know, you would think the stuff would be a lot easier to find. And some of it is, and you do have to go into this, the section where the ocean stuff is um, to find some of it. But there's a lot of things that you just can't find here. And even though we have the Bass Pro Shop and we have, uh, like I went into a couple of the bait shops, but they really do cater to um, the ocean ocean um, fishing. I do like pickles, especially the big ballpark ones. LOL. I used to eat the heck out of... Okay, I must have missed a pickle story here. Um, I think... I don't know that I showed this. I think I might have set this over here. So, up oh, spinning floats or slip float. It tells you how to do these. Um, whoops, sorry, my bad. I don't know. So hopefully you guys can see this okay like this. I actually think this might work out better than trying to spread everything out on the table and and uh, and the fishing language. <laughs> uh, whoops, upside down even. These are weighted. <laughs> yes, Paul Metal Cats, the exciting mystery box. Dun, da, da, da. We've gotten through a little bit of it. Hi, Rex. How are you? Thank you very much for being here. Um, yeah, we've gotten through a bit. Um, I was just showing off the, the extension pole that did come in there. I've never seen. I have just recently heard about these. So um, this is awesome. And, and being able to put something like that right in your backpack if you need to, or in your fishing bag even, which is really good and handy. So I'll always have that um, with the, with the uh, already has line on it reel. And the best part is the uh, margarita holders. I love that. Perfect, and I can uh, double, double dip on the margaritas while I'm fishing. Oh, and we've got more of the pyramid weights. These are the four ounce, so I definitely love this. That four and five are perfect. Um, where I was fishing the other day, um, I, I really appreciate all of you being here. I'm actually amazed and surprised that you have taken the time to come share this with me. Um, ah, thank you very much, Kevin. Um, oh yeah, I had to bet. That's what I was just going to say. Just the fact that you guys have all even popped in here after the cat catfish conference, that must've been a big day. Unfortunately I worked uh, and I only just popped in, um, for, for that moment. And there happened to be the rod giveaway or whatever. And I think that's fabulous. And the people that are want that one, that is amazing. Um, but I'll have to hopefully go back and catch some of that. Ah, uh, thank you, Becca. Yeah, I really, I really, really, really super. I just can't thank you all enough for taking the time to do that, um, for coming here and, and supporting me, especially after having a full day of. And I kind of said that to Avid about coming on. I said I don't know about doing it. Everybody's going to be YouTubed out by the end of the day. Um, but so I do have more of these um, four ounce. Yes, this is amazing that Avid has put this together for me. Um, I'm not the first person to receive the mystery box. I think he has plans to um, try to do this once a month. And uh, he's been getting, I think, a little bit of support. He's going to come up and talk about that a little bit after I get through the box. Um, so, yeah, he's he's trying to put these together um, once a month. And, I th and that's amazing, and especially for those of us who are just starting out and just don't have a lot of this stuff. So um, split shots, I love them. I use these actually, I did use these a lot for my trout fishing um, when I was doing that. So, uh, 
Oh, wait. I thought it said a Carolina tickler. Uh, I wasn't quite sure there, but no, it's a Carolina ticker. Oh, noise. Yeah, he's going to have to come up and explain that to me. Some of you, most of you probably already know, um, you know, what this is, what these are about. So donations, absolutely. Donations help. Um, and that's, that's what he's going to come up and talk about uh, is that. You know, he's doing this, doing, trying to get this together once a month and the, the support of the community is just, I mean, you see it, you see it everywhere. And I think we all talk about it a lot uh, in the lives, just the support and everything that everybody has is, is just amazing. And again, just being overwhelmed again for everything. Um, but we, we talked about it, you know, again, I, I really just wanted the rattles that he makes and I was trying to purchase those and then it just became this um, this awesome box so um, we recently talked about these as well you probably can't really see this stuff very well in the bag but I think most of you probably are very familiar with a lot of what I'm already showing Ooh, it's really hard to show stuff in the camera Oh my gosh, you, yeah, he hasn't told me about all the donations. He's going to come up um, and talk about that. So yeah, and that's what he was telling me is that a lot of the community came together and donated to this box. So yes, Kevin, I do think so. And so thank you so very much. Um, thank you very much to all that have donated uh, to this box. And I appreciate it so much. And again, I don't know anything really about that. So he's going to come up and, um, oh no, you didn't ruin it at all. He had made mention of it to me and, uh, I was actually in the live when he was talking to Haz about it coming together and doing this as a monthly, um, a monthly thing. So I, I knew that I just didn't know how many people were involved and that's what he's going to come up. Uh, Rocco, thank you very much for being here. So he's going to um, come up and talk about that and um, share out who all the people that contributed to my mystery box. Um, Fish and Chick, thank you very much for being here. And I'm glad you are because it seems like every time I see you, I try to find you. I try to find you so that I can subscribe to you. And um, I don't know if you've ever searched your name. Oh, maybe I, I because I didn't put the little... Um, Thing after the end but when you search your name there is some interesting stuff that comes up and it's not you <laughs> so if somebody has fish and chicks link if you could drop that in my feed i would appreciate that i'd, I'd love to be able to subscribe she's been coming in um and and i would love to subscribe um yep handy the seven hot seven aught uh, hooks. Oop, oop. Lee Reed, thank you very much for being here. Right, Abbott, I couldn't find her either. And that's what I'm saying. And then when you do a search for her, um, some interesting, interesting stuff comes up. So, um, and I can't just make her a moderator or anything to drop her own link. So uh, I don't know. Somebody must have her. Somebody has fish and chick somewhere. Um, so I think I've got um, some more um, of the split shots. Um, I'm going to have to have him explain these to me. I don't, don't know much about that. You guys probably do. Rattles, maybe something that you make the rattles with. One of the split shot, um, the barrel sli uh, swivels. Okay, so yeah, that, so fish and chick. Oh, no link yet. Oh, okay. Well, then that explains everything. Um, 
She has no link yet, but there's a lot of people out there that do not quite really have content and they still um, do share that stuff out. But yeah, I can totally understand that. Um, and thank goodness, because I'm like, what? I can't find her. And I think I've seen that come up before. Tom, thank you very much for being here. You know, I always look for you, my uh, New England brother, um, or my New England uncle. <laughs> and then dig down a little bit. Yeah, so we do have some more of the barrel swivels, some more of the split shots. I, I didn't look. I assume that I have different sizes, lots of hooks, the 7 aught, the 6 aught, 8 aught. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, so much. Whoop, whoop. The circle hooks, by the way, I didn't say that, or I believe they are. Yes, they are. They do appear to be. Um, the six millimeter um, beads. And then we have some more of the weighted bobbers. I think um, I had come out of the store and I had snapped a photo and sent it to Avid and I said I didn't get the weighted one. So um, this is cool. I have them in there. I'm getting down. I'm getting down there. More eight dot hooks. Um, and this is really good. I, I appreciate it very much that I got this uh, assortment um, for the bait fishing because I did not have any of the small hooks. Has I have not been able to take a chance to go in or have a chance to go in and take a look at your boating and all that, but I did see that you finally went live in the boat. Um, so I'm anxious to catch up on that and, and check all that out. And I apologize. I haven't been there. To, I haven't really been to, there's so many videos out there and I just haven't gotten around because I've been so busy trying to run out and catch fish or find them. I need like a fish finder on the land, you know, like, like two rods to find water only to find the fish <laughs> because I have plenty of water. I have way too much water, <laughs> but I have no fish. All right. I'm coming down to the bottom and then I'll let Ava come up. Um, if I can figure out how to drop that link. California Ford Raptor. Thank you for the loving my butterflies. Um, more of the beads. Got what? Got it, Lori. What, what, what? Oh, the link? No. I don't know what you got. Oh, the fish finder? You've got a fish finder for the for on the land? Yeah, it's amazing how busy it gets between just, I mean, going to work. Um, the other day I ran, I raced home from work, wanting to go fishing. I get there, it's all flooded, and then it's disappointing, and then I go sit in my car and pout somewhere. But yeah, and then also I've been on the search to find spots um and the other day um i did i actually had the video i went live but i drove almost two hours to go out towards lake marion and i got to the landing that my intended landing um only to find that the gate the floodgate was closed and i couldn't get in there and i'm not fully familiar with the area yet i know there's lots of places there i can go um and then um you know, but it, it, luckily I was able to backtrack and go back to an area where uh, the Sante River um, was running under this bridge that I had gone over and it was a beautiful spot to go fishing. Right, Georgia. Exactly. Some people do though want that. Some people want to set that up before they start, but 
All right, Katie. Yeah, I think you were talking about that the other day, your bank, um, your bank fishing fish finder. Uh, and that it, you know, it kind of gave you the depths of the water along the bank and that sort of thing. So I thought I wanted to reach out to you and ask you about that, but I have just not had a chance to do so. Um, oh, this one got loose. I think I have everything to get started here. The only thing that's lacking in here, much like my everyday, is the fish. Um, so yeah, very amazing. I appreciate this so very much. Um, this is quite the box. So I got several different um, packages uh, of, of split shots with different sizes. Um, and, and all kinds of goodies. So yeah, I'm definitely set up here. The rod, that's amazing. Um, I can't wait to kind of put this together and and see how it goes. Yeah, the fish. Uh, yeah, for most of you, right. <laughs> but that's what kind of, it's, that helps me because on the days that you guys are catching, you know, three and you're like, uh, this is this is a slow day of fishing, and I'm like out here trying to still catch one. But I know that I'm not in the boat. I'm not out there, and I'm also very new to it. Um, but this is just with the the for Kevin, for myself, for the other people down here in South Carolina. The waters are swollen, the the rivers, the lakes, whatever. And of course, for everybody else, it's just winter. So. Um, that, that makes it difficult. So I'm going to see if I can remember how to grab this link so that Avid can come up. Carolina Cat Daddy, thank you very much for coming in and listening. And yes, he, um, Carolina Cat Daddy has been an amazing uh, support for me as well as the rest of you. Um, but we, on the videos, um, just given me uh, some inspiration there and helping me get out. So let me see if I can grab a link here. All right, guys, walk me through this again. I don't really remember how to do this. I got to grab a link. I have to grab this link somewhere. I'm going to move in. I don't know. Was it under guests? Um, today it's kind of chilly out. Yesterday it was 76 degrees, but copy the link in the invite box. So under guests. Invite. There we go. Copy. Now go to. There's that. And then somehow I get to the chat. Okay. Yeah, I did that. I copied the link. And now I have to find, figure out how to get into the chat from where I'm at. Post a comment. All right, come on, come on. Kevin Baker, thank you very much for being here. Whoa, I moved way up into that screen. I'm like, hello. I'm gonna push this off to the side. All right, so then hopefully, whoops, it's gonna give me a notification when Avid clicks on that link, I guess.
Oh, yes, has I saw that. Um, I did watch your video or, or saw the photos of your um, your merchandise. That, those, that just looks really, really nice. I love the black and red color. The picture of you and your wife together. The, they were beautiful photos. Absolutely beautiful photos. Oh, I see it. Hello. Hello. Do you want us? Do you want me to try to make us smaller? Uh, there should be a side by side one there for you. Yeah. Let me see. The layout. So you go. Go. Oh, you I need like a fancy background or something. Yeah, we'll get you there. <laughs> Uh, so you have a question about one of the items, which that little black one, right? Uh, well, we were talking about the Patriot Bobbers. Right. And how to get those lit up. All right. Uh, the Ghost Bobbers is the one that you're talking about. The one oh, okay. with the black bottom. The Ghost Bobbers. Yeah. Flip the Ghost Bobber upside down with the black, with the black, the black, uh, lid right there on the bottom you untwist it yeah okay and then you see a, uh that little tip right there twist yeah. the tip of that light to the right or left and it'll turn on and you turn it the opposite way to turn off i don't want to drink it when it turns on, you can stick it up inside that bower. It'll light up the top and it'll light up the uh, float too for night fishing. And I'm supposed to be twisting the top piece, right? Right. But okay. you hold the base at the same time. But what? Yeah, I'm holding. Do what? I'm holding hold the that. base. You hold the base and you. Yeah, but the whole thing just. Oh, you, all right. Maybe Turn it the back away. Oh. And when you stick it up inside that float, it light light up the float and the uh, top at the same time. There we go. And I know a lot of a lot of people have already seen these. This is this. Those are the new ones. Those are good for uh, night fishing for cats. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't put any floats on my um, rod yet, so. I will, I will do a video and show you how to do it, and I'll send it to you. Yep. Awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, what were we talking about? The um, scale? This. I bought I the cracking scale goes to 110 pounds. Oh, wow. I want to take this thing off. There we go. And so now when you... um, Oh, I got to put batteries in it. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, there's batteries in it. Those batteries should be good in there. All right. So... They take watch batteries. The big ones. Uh, this has double uh, triple A's in them. All right, yeah, those triple A's. Yeah, those are triple A's. The other ones I have take watch batteries. Let there be light, I says. Let there be light. Yeah. So when you um, put a weight on, well, uh, look, yeah, that goes up to 110 pounds. So right now I have the four four pound uh, four ounces on there. But, so, say I have, um, oh, it's set to kilograms. We don't want that. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, while you're doing that, I want to uh, thank HasLife and the catfishing community for yeah. coming and donating funds for this. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Has. I appreciate that very Has, much. Has was a big part in helping me get to uh, coming together with this and uh, getting this going. 
they yeah. helped they helped out and I kept going until I got the everything you needed. <laughs> wow. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Yes, and Paul Meadow mentioned about uh, contributing as well. Yes. A lot of the catfish community did contribute on his uh, live. Oh, wow. And it was uh, his live with him and uh, Mark. And I went to work, and next thing I know, he says, we got such and such amount of money. Send it to you through PayPal, and I went, I went to work. Wow, that's awesome. And um, and you do plan on doing this every Katie month. Collins, so. uh, gave uh, some money as well. But every little bit helped. Yeah, I see Katie was talking about the donations from everybody. And, right. Um, yeah, that's and I and it's awesome. And um, I just uh, DMV, thank you very much for coming in as well. It's just uh, a catfishing community coming together. Yeah, and um, I, I'm very appreciative that I'm one of the lucky recipients of the box, and um, I'm excited that you're doing this for somebody every month. So, how are you determining? Are you just choosing it by by who you think needs, who's in need the most, or how are you deciding that? I listen, I watch, I mm -hmm. view the channels, I go through various steps. Right. And if I see someone that can't afford it, but can't afford a lot of the tackle, I'll go that way and help them. Yeah, that's awesome. So, and you were just starting out. Yeah. And you seen the one that I did for Maria. Yes. And that's what uh, got me on to doing a box for you without you even knowing about it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I, that's right. I forgot to mention that because when um, I asked Avid about doing the uh, making me the um, the rattles and. Uh, actually, who I was, it was uh, Mike Turner's unboxing, and I think it was. Oh no, you're right. It was it was Dobson's in the Dobson's. Yeah, Maria and, Dob Maria and Willie Dobson. Yep, and I was in there and I saw that, and I said, "Oh, that's really you know." I made some off the cusp comment about, "Oh, I, I I need to make friends with this avid fisherman person," <laughs> and then I finally reached out and um, asked about how to how I would go about purchasing these, and. Um, I will be sending you the rattles. Trust yes. me. <laughs> I, I'm getting, uh, I got some of the stuff to make the four of them. I'll be getting more in to make some more of them. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. You started talking about the box and that, uh, and, and I don't know how I found out that, um, I was already in line for that. You had already chosen me for the box when we talked, when you said you were going to send me all the stuff. So I thought that everybody, was pretty, pretty. Everybody in chat, please share this out and let's get Lori up to 500. Oh my goodness. I actually put your link in the description as well. I'd like right. to see you get, you're not too far from 600 out of it. That would be you're awesome. five away. Huh? I'm five away. Yes. That's exactly it. I saw that. So no, that little package that you had with the little black beads in it. Yes. You know, you know what? Uh, you know how to rig up the uh, Carolina rig, right? With a sinker slide. Well, what I, I think what um, Michael was telling me what I have on there right now, which I thought was the Carolina rig, but we, I don't have this. It, it's stationary, like. Uh, That's more have, like a uh, Texas rig, but the sinker slide slides up and down the line. Yes, I've seen it. Yeah. And the little black bead goes between the sinker slide and the swivel. Yeah, those. Yeah. Because that, that's a rubber bumper that protects your knot and protects your swivel from the line breaking when the slide hits it. Okay, because I thought you put a bead there. Um, you can put a bead there, but those little rubber bumpers uh, are a lot more quieter than the bead. And probably protect your line better, I would assume. Right, they do. They do do that. Awesome. And those brass swivels yep. are weighted up to 150 pounds. 
Yep. Then you can do uh, like your leader line, however long you want to your uh, bobber or to your hook. Yep. You can make it. I make mine anywhere from twelve inches to twenty-four inches long. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but right, right now, I'd say keep yours at least twelve inches. Yeah. 10 to so 12. Yeah, I'm finding that what I what I'm my problem is being able to cast it out, and when I that's that's what you need to practice first is your casting, right? And because and when I have to add the weight, like the other day where I was, I added I don't know what I I had I think eight ounces on there, and I mean I didn't want to put any more. I was afraid I was going to break the rod, but um, that water was definitely moving, and that undercurrent was definitely moving, and um, but yeah, it just becomes even trickier to try to cast but if I my lead line there was that one when I first really started I my lead line was too long and I just right. I couldn't uh, I had a real hard time with it so once I shortened it up a little bit that worked better for me now the uh, three way uh, hook box I sent you with three choices yes you got small medium and large hooks yes and the small hooks can be really small for bluegills and what I like to use them for moon eye and shad and skipjack. Yeah. But they also go up to a good size hook for bigger bluegills and other bait fish. Money River Catfishing, hello. Thank you very much for being here. Hey, Chris Flores. How are you doing, bud? I am CBC, yeah. I'm definitely set up now. Um, and you also got those uh, pinch floats. You can put one of the small hooks on and small uh, split shot on there for bluegills and whatever. Which ones are we talking about? The pinch float. The three-inch pinch float, the orange one. Oh, are we talking about, are you talking about these? Yes. Okay. And you can adjust your depth whatever whatever depth you want, like around docks, sunken trees where uh, bluegills hang out close to the bank and catch your bait there. Yeah, that that's and, the thing for me. I mean, I, I obviously have a lot to learn, but that's a good part of it is, um, you know, how to incorporate these things on the line uh, right. for me. So, but see, I do a lot of uh, bank bait fishing from the bank and all that. And I'll be glad to help you out anytime you have questions. Yeah, absolutely. I, I find that with everybody. I appreciate that very much. Um, any any questions that I have, I, I really don't have any trouble getting answers to. So that's awesome. Then you got those pencil floats that you had there, the thrills. The thrill. Um, yeah, are we talking about these? Yes. On the bottom, there, there's a spring that you pull up. Yeah. You see a little notch that you can stick your line in there. Oh, okay. Then you, let, then you let the spring go on it, and it'll hold your line, line in there at one set set depth. Awesome. Then you put, like, a little small uh, split beat, uh, one of those uh, little split weights that, that I sent you. Yeah. Just maybe two inches, yeah, about two inches above the hook. Put a waxworm on there or a red wiggler and go after uh, bait fish around the docks. Yeah, that's that's great. Uncle Josh, thank you very much for popping in. But see, I, I like to use either waxworms or red wigglers for bluegills and bait fish because that, that'll tear them up and you'll wow. catch a lot of bluegills that way. Yeah, um, setting setting up the line for that sort of thing is definitely what I have to work on because I, I would not know how to use this. I, I will show you. Uh, I will help you with that, especially on that five foot six rod is made for is made was sent to you for bait fishing. Perfect. That's where I, that's where I sent it to you. Plus, it's also small and compact. You can yeah put it in your backpack or your purse or whatever, and go just go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put the fishing pole in your purse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't have a backpack, so. <laughs> I do. I, I usually, I started out with my backpack, but I actually have a fishing bag now. Norm wants to know what kind of bow that is behind you. 
My bow is a, it's a diamond and it's a compound bow. I know it's a compound speed cam. Uh, no, I, um, that's a speed cam. We, I, I took a speed cam. I don't, I've never, maybe, I don't know. It is. I, I, I have a bow similar to it. I, it is a uh, dual cam and single right. cam. Because the other day, uh, JV, the last time I pulled it off the wall, JV was asking me about if it was a, du a dual cam. But I had the uh, right. lens in my head and I'm like, no, it's not. Well, yes, you can see. It's a dual speed cam. You can yeah. totally see the cams. Right, um, they're, all set. they're all set, so they're going to have a 30% let off at full draw. This will run, um, this is actually, I did this because at the time I had my stepdaughter in mind um, that at some point in time that I could always pass this down to her. Right. So this will run anywhere I think is from um, five, pound, five to 70 pounds. So it's got quite the range on it. Actually, you can go up to 80 pounds with that. No, 70. 70? Yes. Mine, yeah, I can go up to 90. The, um, this is the Infinite Edge Pro. Okay, I got that bear. The Kodiak. Yeah. yeah, this is a Diamond Infinite Infinite uh, Edge Pro. And I've had this for a couple of years. And I actually um, got this so that I could go out and, and do the bow hunting, which I went out a couple of times. But um, I, I've never harvested anything with it. So now I just take it to the range. I got the Kodiak version of that one. Road Which Warrior, is? hello. James Alba, thank you very much for being here. Uh, anybody I miss, certainly. Now, there's uh, plastic beads. The red plastic beads. Yes. I'll show, show you how to work with them when you're putting on your uh, Patriot Bobbers. Oh, okay. Because that those will really help you a lot, especially yeah. if you're night fishing and you're trying to find uh, catfish up close to the bank. They work great. Yeah. Now the Patri no, the Patriot bobbers that you had not bought the package there. Yeah. You just twist the. You don't. Uh, you just take the top lid light and just twist them on on that one. You don't know the top of them where the light is. You just twist the light on that one. <coughs> yep, just like that. I tried to get you some purple ones. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what he had, so that's what that's what I was able to get you the blue and blue and pink. So. That's awesome. Hey, but blue and pink still make purple. <laughs> that's cool so what are the um so what are these pieces so those are the slides that you put on your uh I, I will go over them with you all right i'll go i will do a video with them on you so that way you can see how to do it yeah those, those are basically to help you put your line your uh the knot is to stop your bobber at a certain depth that you can adjust it. And the bead goes in behind the knot on the slide, and there's another bead goes below it to where it'll stop at the sinker, sinker slide. And then between those two beads, you have the bobber setting. Yeah, I, I need like diagrams. <laughs> I, I, hey, I wish it shows you on the back of one of them. Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah, I saw the uh, the paper. But I, I will show you how I rig mine up. Yeah, that's exactly how you'd rig it. But I'm gonna I'll show you on a video if you want, and you can uh, see how I do it. Brian, Brian Catfishing, thank you very much for coming in as well. Um, I'm, I appreciate everybody, everybody being here. Absolutely. It's been a long day for some of us, though, everybody that was trying to keep up with the uh, conference, I'm sure.
Um, yeah, this is great, Abbott. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much to everybody that contributed to this box of goodies. Yeah, I already have a next contestant for next month. Awesome. They don't know who they are, and I want to keep this one all hush us, but I will send you a message and let you know who the person is. Okay. So then once you get the box together, then you're going to um, let them know? or Because obviously you have to get an address. I already got the address. Oh. They just don't know it. Oh. This person does not know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't think so. No. You, you would just... The lucky one that knew about it beforehand, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more intense. Well, I certainly didn't know anything, you know, what was going into it and all that. And um, I appreciate it very much. Central Valley Adventures, thank you very much. Yeah, the conference, uh, yeah, I was working as well. So, um, yeah, that's an amazing conference. But I, I knew you would love this because I knew what a beginning a beginner would need. Yeah. And and to set up all the different lines, so right. Uh, or the different setups. So Yeah, you can do different setups with it too. Even with a the two way swivel, you can make it into a three way. So it's easy. Yeah, I've been looking at um, some of the different um, some of the different rigs. So um, the Carolina rig is your best. Your uh, Texas rig is your is better for when you're fishing around rock, rocky banks and rocky bottoms, to where you have your sinker on the bottom and you go up about a foot and a half, two foot with a hook. Yeah, and you uh, do do a hook two foot up with a circle hook. So that way, when you hook a fish and it gets caught up in the rocks, the sinker gets caught in the rocks, it'll break off and you still keep your fish. Oh, wow. Yeah. But for like muddy rivers and stuff that I've seen you showing so far, the Carolina rig would be your friend. Yeah. Because that, that sinker is set on the bottom as it slides. And that catfish will pull that bait this way and that sinker will still be here. And that will load up your rod. Once that rod gets loaded, that sinker comes up and helps pull that circle hook back in the corner of the mouth. Oh, interesting. So you just crank down on the rod and pull back on the rod after you get it cranked down. I want, I'm reading uh, Catfish Headhunters. I wanted to order some of the rods, but I'm not paying more than $40 for a rod for a fish. Yeah. That's the tricky part of that. Is the, I get a lot of my rods for 40 bucks and under. Yeah. I mean, I pay a little bit for my, uh, a little bit more than that for my um, rod that, um, my ugly stick, but. Ugly, but I will say this, ugly sticks are worth the money. Yeah. And for catfishing and the ugly sticks, I will, I will say you got quality. You got a good rod, so I wouldn't raise any qualm about it. You got what you get and what you pay for on those things. Those things are hard to destroy. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of talk about those ugly sticks here on uh, PD. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, hey, PD, thanks, bud, for showing up. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people on here seem to have them, and I didn't realize that, so... Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about it and, um, I have a lot to go through and of course, um, um, having all the help to get, get through and, and, you know, again, it's just, and plus YouTube, um, obviously I can get onto YouTube and I, I do that. And then I, I look for certain things. If I have a question, I oftentimes just will Google it and then bam, there's a YouTube video. Oh, wow, yeah. I got a YouTube. There's a lot of people here that will show you how to tie uh, Carolina rigs and stuff like that. And there's a lot of people here that will help you. 
Yeah. Uh, you got catfish headhunters. You got Tom out of cats. You got everybody in here that can help you do it. Right. Yeah. But, you, you know, might, and again, I, I can watch it, like tying the knots and stuff. I Unfortunately, I missed and I still haven't had a chance to go back and watch Paul Meadows with the with the knot tying thing, you know. But there's so many videos um, right. out there it's, of everybody doing it. So, there's three um, nights. Dieter, Dieter does it. Right. There's three knots I told you about, or your three best knots, to, uh, three yeah. your strongest knots. Yep. Now, if you ever want to uh, see how to tie it, a Kentucky rig or a Texas rig, go over to uh, Muddy Rivers Catfishing. Yeah. And he does it. He does a perfect one for uh, a Kentucky rig. A Kentucky rig? Yeah. That's where the sinker on the bottom and you go up about a foot or two and you tie a hook on there. Yeah. He does a perfect rig for that. Katie's, Katie's going to bed. Yeah. Good night, Katie. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, Chris use that rig a lot for fishing. Petey, are you putting your boat? Um, I know you guys were talking about going and um, getting in the boat. I believe for this weekend. I saw that the rain is not going to be quite as prevalent as they were originally saying. So hopefully you'll be able to get out there. Not that the rain will hurt you, I guess, but um, where they are, you know, we talked about, I talked about the flooding here, but um, where PD is, I mean, it's completely flooded or last yeah. I heard it was completely flooded. So good night, Catfish Head Hunter and good luck. I'm sorry to hear that you're flooded down there, PD. I pray it all uh, dries up quick so you can get on the water. The ditch rig, James, huh? Okay. Yeah, good night. Good night to those that are headed out. I see a lot of people are um, hooking up to go fishing tomorrow. That's awesome. I hope that'll be a great day. Uh, Uncle Josh toss. Look at Uncle Josh, the link tosser. Uncle Josh, you're doing awesome tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for doing that. And, um, and I, I know like that your expression when you open that box. <laughs> What's that? I loved your expression when you opened that box. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Um, I knew you were going to light up. I just didn't know how much. <laughs> that just. Just a blessing to see. Oh, it's a blessing to receive, I'll tell you. I, I appreciate it very, very much. Yeah, the poll, um, definitely a good deal. I, I'm very happy about that. Um, you got um, everything you need to last you for a while for bait fishing and cat fishing. Yeah. But if you need any more of those sinkers, let me know. I can get them here uh, at a, real quick and easy. Awesome. I can get all that tackle within with one stop. Oh yeah, you said that, yeah. I got a bait shop up like uh Epic says I'm kind of like a a mecca of the catfish where the catfish are like to hang out and breed and get <laughs> huge. Whoop. Yeah, James, that's right. Now I need to go fish. I've I've certainly been trying to do that. Well, you you got some good spots on those rivers. Yeah, I don't know if it's the timing. I don't know if it's the flooding. Um, okay, even in flooding, you can catch cats close to the bank. Oh, I know. Everybody keeps saying that. You know, go into the flooded waters. Well, the problem, I mean, if I'm casting, you're casting on land, you know, and, right. we, and there's already a lot of snags as it is, you know. But That's where you can use that Texas rig to where if it does snag, you ain't going to lose everything. You just lose the sinker. Yeah. That's what I'm going to have to to learn that. So. But by the boat ramp where the uh, dock was, you can cast as far as you want down there in that area and probably catch some cats right there on the boat ramp. 
Well, I'm not sure which one you're talking about, but the the one, the one by the one by the bridge where you uh on oh, your yeah. last video. Yeah. Yeah, well right there was there this, where the boat ramp was with the yeah. uh, dock out there. Well, um yes, where you couldn't get out to the dock. But right. there was also a section of bank there that you could cast out. But yeah, there's a lot of snags right there too. The other problem is a lot of boats. But see, that's where those catfish bobbers also come in handy to keep your weights up off the bottom. Yeah. Those catfish bobbers will support a four ounce weight and keep it off the bottom so you won't get snagged. Uh, that's, yeah, that's probably just what I need, right? Well, right now, I thought we wanted it. We wanted everything to be on the bottom, thinking that's where the, you know, that's where the catfish are right at the moment, but. Right, but see. A lot of your uh, part, of, a lot of your part of the catfish rise up more up to the top, to where they see the bait, and they can swim up to it. Yeah. Instead of having to swim down and try to turn them out sideways to bite into it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's where that longer <coughs> line comes into play. I would imagine. Well, actually, no, right. that would still. Yeah. Hey, great outdoors, Sean. How are you doing? Great outdoors. Thank you very much for coming in. Yeah, Sean, you may have to go back and watch this from the beginning to watch, see everything she's got, because <laughs> it was amazing to watch her face light up. Mark Clark, thank you for being here, as always. Now, he got he got a couple of my rattles. Uh, Great Outdoors has a couple of my rattles. So does Norman, so does uh, Elstan. A few of the catfish community has in my uh, some of my catfish rattles that make. Oh, I'll see. There you go. And I make them way cheaper than uh, demon dragons. Yeah. When I can get when I get down set down to make them, I can have a couple dozen made in no time. Just got to have everything together to make them. Yeah, well, like I said, I certainly will uh, purchase those from you. I don't um, have any problem doing that. It's just knowing how to get that to you. But, yeah, to contribute. We'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Yeah. And certainly if you have that many people with that much of an interest and, in, you know, you want to consider about how you can go about and at least – if not make a profit on it, but make back, you know, what you're putting into them with the shipping and all of that as well. Well, shipping out for them, I ain't worried about it because it's, it's cheap. It's the bigger packages donations help me with. Yeah, like the 12, 12 pound boxes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it almost became 15. <laughs> I'll put it this way. If I would have got the two other items I was looking for to come in the mail, it could have been a 20-pound box. Oh, my God. But they never came in, so. I'm trying to. I'm Josh, the video is real simple and easy to do. The cup is coffee. Which in the cup is coffee. What's that? Brian asked me what was in the cup. Uh, oh. cup. The hooks, uh, I am using a double action offset uh, circle hook. Uh, nine or ten out circle hook. You can use a six or a seven, but I won't go any smaller than the seven. Yeah, uh, it was. Part. Somebody was just talking about, uh, or I was watching, uh, maybe it's Arts. Um, is it Tim, Tim King? Maybe was talking about. Uh, they caught, a, a, he was out with his grandfather and um, caught a, quite a big fish there. And I think it was on, uh, I believe it was a seven aught. Right. Uh, See, I, even, I think I even sent you some five aughts, I believe. Yeah, I got quite the mix there. The five aughts is for if you're in an area that you don't know what size of cats are in there, you can start small and hook into them and if you keep catching smaller ones you can keep going up in the hook size with your baits well i so think you, that was the point that tim was making is that you can catch some pretty large cats even on the smaller size hook um, yeah the, but the, half the time the bigger cats will swallow the smaller circle hooks 
it was on a six aught art just right. it was a six aught hook that he and it was uh, almost a 40 pound cat on a six aught hook and you, um, you, you can catch uh a 40 pound cat on a six aught but the five aughts are more made for the channel cats yeah um, but my, six knots work great. You can even do a six knot with a rattle trap. F crazy, how are you doing? Raul Garcia, welcome. Please hit the subscribe and the bell notification and thumbs up for Laura. <laughs> F crazy. Oh boy, I, I haven't even seen my uh, Lorianne in a while. I appreciate that. I think. Yeah, since I changed my name, I kind of lost my look. Oh, yeah, it's in my name up here, though. Uh, but, yeah, I don't – most people just call me Laura now. I knew that would happen when my name changed, but it's okay. A 52-pound on a 5-aught and a 1-pound on a 9-aught. Yeah, so I'm not so sure. The Nocturnal Nation hooks are good, good hooks. I just don't like them because they have a thinner shank. I catch a sturgeon on a uh, five up to a nine knot circle hook. Catfishing. That cat, that fish was greedy. <laughs> yeah. And Hedge was amazing when I had him on that live. Yeah. And you heard that I was doing a boxing. He just jumped on it. He just. Wanted, he wanted to be part of that one. That's awesome. He's an amazing man. Yeah, I was actually in there for that live. And um, he, that next live he went on with uh, him and uh, Outdoor Addiction, I think it is, our Fishing Magician 2.0. They just lit it up. I couldn't believe how quick those donations came in. Wow, that's awesome. That is really awesome, and you know, I think it's it's true too. Because when um, oh, trying to get comfortable in here, but um, <laughs> you know, when it's going to a good cause like that, you people are definitely very um, generous and and giving out, and I, I think that's just amazing. Yeah, uh, the catfish community will come and help on a lot of stuff. And if you're not feeling, but if you have medical issues or anything, they'll pray for you. They'll send their thoughts and prayers and yep. call, text you, see how you're doing. I mean, yeah, look at all the support that went out for Maurice. Yeah. For that. And Eric, hello. Thank you very much. Maurice has been in everybody's live and subscriber in every channel that you can think of that's Catfish Community. Yeah. He's been, he's been in, he's been my number one subscriber from the beginning. He's helped me get to where I'm at now. And every time I turn around, that man is there to help. He's amazing. So I mean, I'm not laughing at you. I was laughing at has cause I was well, just catching in his chat. I see my sexy summer bod. It's uh -huh. boat ready. <laughs> You don't have any what, James? I don't know what you're talking about, Alball. Eric Burnside's another uh, good man. He, 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 they all have a wealth of knowledge in this catfishing community. That Eric, you has, pick, Eric they, has been with me from the very beginning. I mean, I don't know that I remember not. I mean, I, I Eric Burnside, I just, well, actually, no, I mean, I guess it wasn't that long ago, but yeah, watching him and, and I've just, I don't even know where we hooked up, but I hooked into him and started watching him and um, I just adore him so much. I love watching him, um, his, his persona, his aura. Uh, and I, as I said to him, you can just see he's such a soulful, soulful, heartfelt person. And mm -hmm. it's, he, he just brings a smile to your face. There's no way that, you know, the soft spokenness. Um, right. He, he's a real soft spoken dude. Yeah. Now, you do have enough line there on that 
30 pounds of oil to do two reels. Yeah, two that's quite the I think that's close to a thousand yards on there. Or a little over. So you should have some extra over to do leader line if you want. Oh, uh, this one says 450. 450, okay. Yeah. I grabbed the wrong spool. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, still, you, that's still cool, though. Yeah, but if you have an Academy Sports down there where you're at, no, I don't know. You should, I mean, we have Bass Pro Shop. We have um, well, Bass Pro. You should be able to go and get some more of that Suffolk's thirty yeah. pound braid or a thirty pound mono filament you want for another spool. So we have a we have Dicks and that all that too. Dicks Sporting. That was Barbarian. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate that. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods may have it, but Bass Pro, I know, will have it. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's yeah, asking you to run him 100 yards. <laughs> no, she can't do that. I'm sure she gets her lens uh, pulled up first. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Reed is another uh, awesome person. I, I I always say that you know the um, everybody that comes into my lives. Or, I mean, I just that to me, you know, and I had there my my group has gotten larger, and I appreciate that very much. Um, well, Lee Reed also owns a uh, catfish bait and tackle shop. Oh, um, what's it called? Because I think I'm familiar. I don't remember right off the bat, but he had he had, he runs a bait and tackle shop. Yeah, and he covers all. The, I mean, he has the weights, everything, <coughs> and he owns his own business. So, is there uh, somebody have a link or anything to that that they can toss in there? Hey, Josh, can you? Uh. Lee Reed, you still in here? Lynn, hello. Thank you for coming in. Try to see if Lee's still in here. Uncle Lou's tackle. Yeah, Uncle Lou's tackle. Can you post that link for her, uh, Josh? I think I'm already. Um, I think I already have that saved. But for anybody that doesn't, because I actually think. And I knew it sounded familiar to me, and I think I got it from um, Paul Meadows Live, maybe. Um, but it, it wasn't too it wasn't too long ago. But I think, it, or maybe it was actually in one tons. No, I think it was in one tons. Uh, um, if you can make catfish and fever a mod, he can post that link. I can't. Um, oh, I that's can't right. Until yeah, after the, yeah. Right. But uh, he's on Facebook and he's on YouTube. Yeah. He does. He, I mean, he's a good man. I was talking to him the other night, and he found he had some of the supplies I needed, and I ordered from him. So you're going out in the boat tomorrow too, Has I take it. You know, it's, yeah, it's good. There's, uh, I'm going to move again. I'm fidgeting. My back is really sore today. <laughs> and itchy. Um... I'm always fidgety. You you watch it. I mean, uh, oh my gosh, Uncle Josh was in my life the other day, and it, I just I can't sit still, and I can't leave anything alone. So they were oh. razzing. They were razzing me. I still haven't watched the playback to find out what the comments were, but <laughs> that's a quite all right. <laughs> it just you, that makes that's gonna make you into a good catfishing woman. Well, not if I can't. Fidgeting with the line and fidgeting with the pole, and oh my well, gosh, I gotta... that, that part you can't fidget with once you get them cast out. Oh, that's exactly what they were razzing me so, about. So. You can always turn uh, while you're fishing, you can always smell you some more hooks. So if yeah. you lose one, you don't have to worry about retying one when your rods are out of the water. Well, I've been doing the knotless snell, and uh, well, I've, I haven't had to re-snell a hook in a while, so 
Um, luckily, like the other day, I recovered three of my snags, so I didn't lose my gear. But, um, but yeah, it doesn't take me that long to do the knotless, the knotless snell. But um, yeah, I actually have a little plastic box so that I could pre-line some of those things and have them laid out and maybe not get all snarled up. Right. That works really good. I'm going to send you some uh, tap, uh, boxes with the weights in them and everything already pre set I'm like, nah, I'd rather just let it see it this way. <laughs> yeah. I, I love everything in there, and that's awesome. Thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome. the pole, pole is great. I love that. I... I kind of figured you'd get a kick out of that. <laughs> yeah, an eagle claw at that. So yeah, eagle claws are good rods. Yep. And you can set your drag on that uh, spool too, in case you do catch a channel cat on it. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard talk about that. I suspect that happens when you're out there trying to catch bait, and you end up with a catfish on it. Oh, I've I've had. I've caught a uh, six pound cat on it when wow. it's good to get bluegill, so it's good to have your drag set instead of having a line snap. Yeah. Yeah, I was all, I was gun ho on the other day. And those uh, rod holders, the orange rod holders. My margarita holders? Yeah. Yeah. Those get pushed all the way down to the base of the uh, spring <coughs> in the ground. Yeah. So when uh, so when a catfish takes it, the uh, the spring will load up on a rod, pinch the rod handle in it, so the catfish can't pull the rod out of the spring. Oh, okay. The bait shop here in uh, Alton makes them. Oh, really? Yeah, no, that that's a heavier version than what. They got the heavier version, and they got the smaller version for like your bluegill fishing and your crappie fishing and stuff like that. Well, my problem is that's the heavier version. My problem is we don't have a lot of banks here. I'm just saying the spots where you do have banks where you can get that pushed in there. Yeah. That will save you from losing a rod. Yeah. I've I've had a 53 pound cat lay my rod flat on the ground in that rod holder and he couldn't pull it out wow because that spring loaded up on that handle so tight he's pulling more drag than he's pulling that rod wow but it took me two hands to pull it back up straight <laughs> to get it out of there <laughs> um there's 20 fabulous people in the house. I appreciate each and every one of you for, for being here. And uh, I'm hoping that um, I, I think most of the people that are in here, Avid, are already sub to you. But if you're not, I did put Avid's link. And I'm sure um, Josh has been tossing them out there as well. Um, but Josh his link is in the description. Tonight. What's that? Josh has been doing really good tonight. Yeah. I'm just curious to see yes, where she, you're setting that. Yep, she does. Katie does deserve that, def definitely. She does deserve all the help she can get. If we can get her up to one fifth, five more subscribers, get her up to 150, that'd be awesome. For Katie? For you. Oh, for me? Yeah, you're five away from 150. Oh, wow. <coughs> Well, and I think you and you were at in the beginning five away from the six hundred. There's a milestone. Yeah, I'm three away from six hundred now. Awesome, that's good. Yeah, like I said, I think most of these people were probably already um, had already subbed into you. So um, myself, you know, my content, you know, I still don't have fish in my videos and. Uh, well, but you'll get there. Um, and this is one of, this one of your first steps with a tackle that you need. Yeah. Um, you get up right. You know, uh, Miss Becker and I have talked about a couple of different things off and on, and 
um, getting together uh, off. We're not doing anything scheduled. I think we want to keep ours as kind of a pop up on a whim thing, but yeah, like we could get together, but it's spur of the moment. Yeah. And um, we want to keep it as an overall outdoors because we're not just fishing, you know, and as you know, I do a lot of the adventuring and the going into the abandoned homes or, you know, maybe I want to get a GoPro and get out in the kayak with the alligators. I don't know. Right. Um, that's, why I, that's why I didn't confine mine just to one set, set of fishing. It just says avid, avid fisherman because I fish for various things and I can probably do right. a few more uh, cooking videos or camping videos, whatever I do. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we're, you know, there's, there's a whole lot, you know, it, most of my uh, people were coming from the fishing community, from the cat fishing community, but then I've also gone in and um, done a lot of the outdoors and um, the outdoor community and watching a lot of that stuff, which uh, I'm also enjoying. So I, I enjoy a lot of that getting out there and the wow. trapping, uh, a lot of the trapping um, stuff that they're doing and things like that. So I like a lot of your other videos too, like your, uh, your motels and stuff like that, that you go into and all that. Yeah. And that's amazing finding those kind of stuff. Yeah. I hope to be able to do more of that and get out there and, um, uh, find some more of those places to do that with. I actually really enjoyed the castle tour, even though, uh, it was very laggy. Um, but well, that, that's, kind of expected when you're going through uh rock walls and all that yeah <clears throat> because there's rock walls we'll do with uh bouncing signals off and back and forth instead of getting a good straight signal yeah it, it was fun though i really i enjoyed it and i i think what made that enjoyable for me was everybody that was in there with me with it and and going through there and um becca was very um, imaginative through the whole thing. And it just, it's, it's the people that you have that you're interacting with that really make everything what it is, you know? Right. Um, I, I like to, uh, I like seeing, to see if one of those places are uh, haunted by going in there overnight. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not spending the night in any haunted house. No, I'm not saying going in <laughs> to spend the night. I'm just saying walk through there and see what, See what you see. Yeah, well, what unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, in New Hampshire, I probably would have been okay with that. I wouldn't have, especially out in the woods, some of the stuff that's out in the woods and up up in the mountains. But um, down here, no. Um, there was, I posted a link on Facebook not too long ago. There was a um, old amusement park. Um, it, it it didn't make it. It didn't survive. They shut down a few years back, and it, I think it was a couple of different things. So it had been closed, and um, they still had a lot of the big, like, the giant uh, spinning guitar and stuff out there, but eventually they had to take it all down. Um, and there, there was some, some site, I can't remember now, um, South Carolina site that actually did a tour through, and as they were walking through, you could actually see what looked like blood on the floor. Um, but then... Um, Something could be haunted. Not even just haunted. It's just that you've got gang members in there, especially oh, okay. at that time of night. So yeah. gang members, you know, the drug drug community, and it's not a place I want to be. No. And, um, people, there it's were... Not a place you need to be. A couple of days after the link, um, Michael Costello was actually telling me about, or Mike Costello Outdoors, was telling me about the fact that three people had just gotten um, killed there and had been shot there. So, Hello, Rick's uh, Fishing Adventures. Hello, Rick's. Thank you very much. Or Rick, I should say. Rick's Fishing and Adventures, yes. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how this uh, adventure goes for you. Yeah. Me too. I mean, so far, I, I mean, even though I'm not catching fish, it, it, it's okay. I'm having a, I had a blast the other day. And for me, because I, being Laura the Explorer, I certainly did that Yes, yesterday. I keep saying the other day, it was yesterday. My hot tide flies. I, um, I like fishing, not just to catch fish, 
But look at the God scenery that he created and everything that exactly with. Yeah, exactly. And so Even the though, huh? The two hour ride out to where I where I went. Um, it was it was beautiful. I just I enjoyed it. It was a gorgeous day, and I loved it. I loved being out there. So, just sitting out there on the bank with you, Roger, in water with bait, and looking around, listening to nature, looking at the beauties and the sights that was created for us. That's a yep. blessing in itself. Yep. I really want to hear the bells ringing though. <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 ding. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sending you a couple uh, bite alarms when they get in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody was asking me in the live, and I don't know who it was, but they asked me if they were. Because what I bought was really inexpensive. They look like little miniature cowbells. Right. That's clip onto the pole. With these bite alarms, you can hear these uh, 100 yards away. I've heard them on some of the lives, I think. Uh, is it one time that has that? I don't know if our... I, I have one. I have three of them. I'm just ordering five more. I, I've heard them. I don't know if it was on one time some or Aaron. There was two stands where uh, one time was playing a joke with it and kept tripping it. Yeah. But these are, these are ear piercing if you're real close and they go off. If you fall asleep and you're sitting ten feet, three feet away from your rod when that goes off, yeah, it will wake you. <laughs> yeah, these these were just inexpensive um, clip-on things that I put on there, but um, you know, I just figured. Yeah, out those are just regular uh, inexpensive uh, catfish bells that you get out of Walmart. Mm, I'm not sure where I'm. I'm I know what you're talking about. I got I got two of them. The bite alarms. Yeah, I didn't have alarm on. I didn't have an alarm on mine. I just had the bells. But somebody asked me that if I had, if it was just the bells or if I had an alarm on there too. Yeah. No, you you just have the bells on yours. Yeah. The bite alarms they, they go lower to the. Uh, Lower on the rod where you set them up. Yeah. And if when you get them set up just right and that fish pulls on that line, it takes very bit, little of that line to move for that alarm to go off. Yeah, and that's, um, I'm still trying to, you know, again, fidgeting with the rod and the line and everything and uh, knowing, <laughs> you know, how tight or loose to set my drag or when to to loosen or tighten my drag and so like when i cast out there i have a tendency i want to check it you know so now i'm fidgeting with it again and then yeah well, message me tomorrow i'll be working on my rods at work and i'll show you how to do that what check the drag without having a to... how to set the drags on your rods i know how to set it i i have mine set differently than everybody else's do for the size of cats and everything yeah. And it depends, like your uh, line weight is a 30 pound. You set your drag accordingly to it. Because, like, your monofilament has a stretch and your braid don't. Right. So I have my line set according to how my line reaction is and stuff like that. And it helps. Sounds so complicated. No, it ain't complicated. To me, I, I look at it differently than what other people look at it. Art says, Art says, set it and forget it. Right. Once you get your drag set to a certain degree, you don't have to worry about setting it again. I don't know if my uh, real, I mean, I, you know, I don't know that it has any numbers or degrees or anything like that uh, on it. So how do I know, of, you know? But, most of the right, uh, reels nowadays that with a front, front drag system, they don't have any numbers. You just count the, twi the twist when you get it all the way tight, you keep losing it a little bit at a time till you get the drag where the line starts pulling off the reel. Yeah. It starts clicking. And if it's real tight, you keep loosening it until you get it where you want it. Yeah, I know how to tighten and loosen it. Um, and that's not a problem. I, I loosen it so that I can pull it down and change the weight and then I tighten it back up. That's my thing. So 
Um, I don't do that. I just flip the bell and let it come out that way. Yeah. That way you just don't uh, mess with a drag. Right. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to explain now is that I keep fidgeting with it. So, yeah. Uh huh. Instead of fidgeting with a drag, just open the bell and let the enough line out and just close it. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah. That way you're not going to lose a big fish with uh, your drag too loose or too tight. Well, that's what I was explaining is that I keep fidgeting it with it. So then uh -huh. when I cast it out, now I got to tighten it and check it again. So, yeah, that's, that's all it. stuff I'm, I'm working on for sure. Right. You'll get it. You'll get it. So... Um, well, I think I'm going to probably end this because um, I do have to go to work tomorrow. And um, it is, I don't even know, 1038 already. So. Yeah, it's 1038 your time. It's 938 mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. So um, I appreciate, again, so much everything. Um, it's been actually quite overwhelming to um, just keep receiving. And I, I'm... Again, I've got another sticker coming, and of course, eventually, I'll have your uh, rattles coming, and um, I have a custom rod still coming, so I have that unboxing when that happens with JV Outdoors. Um, Rick is asking you, what did you unbox? What was the Rick, question? Rick fishing. Was that oh, what did I unbox to uh -huh. tonight? Um, it was a whole box, um, Avid, and uh, a lot of other people has, has life. Um, Katie Collins, um, I think the a whole lot community. of people, the whole fishing community contributed um, to this whole box of goodies. Um, so uh, anywhere from the bobbers to um, the fishing pole um, line. Um weights you know so it was a whole this was actually a 12 pound box of goodies in here 12 pound box of fishing tackle for both catfish and bait fish tackle yeah so yeah pretty much the From bobbers the hooks sinkers the circle hooks everything <laughs> and like i said i would like to thank the catfishing community for stepping up and helping with the donations and stuff. Yeah, that's just awesome. And, and Man's Life for stepping up to help me with this. He was an Thank amazing you. man. Yeah, um, you know, and it is, it's, it's an awesome thing to see. And I love, like, um, when people win the, win the gifts and things like that. And Eric is a good example of that, how appreciative just seeing him with his his tackle boxes and um i don't i think he got a whole tackle bag with with the the boxes and it's, it's just such a great thing yeah so I'll, I'll 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 show you my uh catfish uh, backpack i have set up i had yeah. my i had my hunting bag uh, i started with that with my hunting bag and put my stuff in there but then i found that I, I found a bag that I that works better for me. Yeah, I got me a catfish backpack off uh, Amazon. And I finally got it all fit, loaded up and everything. Yeah. I have no room to put anything else in it. Yeah, well, then that's the problem with the backpack is then I find, like, I'm, I'm going to dig for something where I'd rather have it so that I can just pull it right out when I need it. Well... I, I like the backpacks because that way I can keep what I need in it for fishing. I, I, if I don't need it, it ain't going to go in there. Yeah. Well, pretty much everything right now is in my car. <laughs> <laughs> and on your table. <laughs> yeah, nope. It's off my table now. It's back oh. in the box. Yeah. Now that's going to go back to your car, too. <laughs> yeah, now, yes. Um. Yeah, well, especially the rod, but once I get, yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, and it's a good thing because I do actually have some extra um, boxes so I can put the bait fishing stuff in. Right. So, yeah, I'll have, when I have time to actually get through that, but I, I think it is supposed to maybe rain a little bit again on Sunday, unfortunately, so, and of course I have to work tomorrow, um, and then hopefully Becca and I are going to be getting together here soon and, and talk about what we've been talking about for about a month now. 
Um, so who knows when that'll happen, but I can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna okay. be an, an interesting topic of conversation. So yeah, but you, you no matter what we do, you do you do awesome with it. Oh, thank you. I don't I don't edit my videos. I just keep them real and just leave them the way they are and post them. Yeah, I, I like to edit. Um, you know, I don't want to have to pay for a lot of different things to do the editing. It's not because I'm just doing it for fun. You know, I'm not in here. I don't have um, the big, huge communities and, and, and getting to that stage. I'm just kind of having fun with things. So I try to keep it light. But, I, you know, I want to crop out stuff like, you know, if you watch um, some of the earlier videos where, you know, I was trying to do the causeway and I'm walking, walking, walking. Well, that's a long, I wanted to show you the scenery, but it's just right. a long, it's a long clip. That, um, that, that cause, those causeways are very big. Yeah, it, it, it was a good size. I mean, it's good size, but, um, and then we have, it's fresh water on one side and ocean water on the other. And the right. elevators actually cross over each side. Um, so, but I do love going there and I've talked about doing a live there once it gets warmer. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Well, but, I yeah. actually know that one time that's close to your area and he can help you with, uh, rigging and showing you a few things too. So one time, um, the one time crew at Kerr Lake and stuff, that is actually almost, I believe five hours. Oh, five um, hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, uh, you know, we, we've talked a few times, different times about maybe getting, yeah, Art, I love editing. Art does an awesome job on all that, too. Um, but, yeah, we've talked about getting together possibly. But, yeah, it's a five-hour trip, and where I only get one day off at a time, it, that makes it tricky for me. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's not good. You have to have to leave that night. You get off work and to go over there and spend the day there. That's exactly right. You and drive I'm, home that night. Right. That following night. Yeah, it would be it would yeah, five hours, Art says. Yeah, it's um <laughs> so yeah, right next door, Uncle Josh. <laughs> that's wicked oh. close. Wicked close. That's where you have to use your uh vacation time if you get it. Yeah, exactly. Rick's fishing adventures, that's awesome. I'm I pray for you as well. Well, all right, everybody. I got to get going. It's been fun. I'm glad you enjoyed your box. Yes, I did. And yeah, right. I'm, I need to get hunkered down here myself. I'll probably carouse around a little bit before I actually go to sleep. But um, but yeah, I just want to, my back is is definitely killing me. Any questions, I'm here. All right. Thank you know you. how to get a hold of me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everybody again for coming in. Um, Uncle Josh tossing those links out there. Uh, taking taking Becca's position away from her. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm not taking Becca's position away, no. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it again. I know I'll be talking to you. Um, and yes, as I get time and get through this, I'm sure I'll, I'll pick some questions out there well i i'll answer you, your questions either through on here or messenger or what however way you want to contact me yeah and i will help you show you how to do them okay the only thing i didn't send you was a crappy uh jigs and jig heads i didn't want to confuse you too much that quick <laughs> Yeah, I think I know a little bit about those now, too, with um, Mike, Michael Costello uses them. And so, yeah, I'm very fortunate, and I do have him here. Um, and, and again, he's guided me through most If you need any crappy jigs, just let me know. All right. I have plenty. All right, I've I will do. Two, cap uh, two backpacks full of crappy jigs. Wow. So I got plenty. Okay. <laughs> I got to right. make sure around. All right. Well, thank you very much again, and thank you all for being here. I am going to say good night, um, and I'm sure I will see you all down river or on the flip side. 
Avid, thank you for coming up and talking and uh, sharing out. You're welcome. All right. You have so, a good night, and everybody have tight lines. Yes. All right. As usual, I'm out. Everybody's out. I'm sure we'll see you out there um, carousing around. So thank you very much, Art. I appreciate that. Um, trying to throw it together and get time to come in. And again, yeah, the time flies when you're doing these things. It's amazing to me. Even uh, being out there fishing and then, um, you know, you're in, you're trying to do this live and then bam, you're like, oh, I've been on for four hours. Are you kidding me? Like right now it's been an hour and 45 minutes. So anytime you want to do these short lives, short lives and bam, there they go. So, but yeah, I'm going to go uh, relax my back and take my party breaks and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the flip side. So they have it. Poof. I am gone. Thank you, Uncle Josh. I appreciate it very much. More than you guys know. <laughs>